I think there's a lot of potential for some sort of Cinderella story, some sort of breakthrough team. I, I kind of hope it won't be Navi Alliance in the finals, just because we've seen that so many times. I mean, it would be an epic fi finals, don't get me wrong, but I would just love to see some sort of a, a storyline evolve with some sort of a finals that's just a little more interesting. You had a very difficult time flying here. What, what happened? Um, basically, we got tickets that were lower priority than standby tickets. So people on standby, they could get on the plane before we could. So I think Pai and Singh had like five hours in total they slept after like 30 hours of travel. The planes we were supposed to board, it was full. And uh, the other one, the next one that came after us was full as well. And the first one that came after that would be at 9 a.m. in the morning. So instead of that, we took a plane to Cleveland. We waited for a bus there for about six and a half hours. And then you took a bus for how long? Three hours or so, I guess. And wow. then we walked from the Greyhound bus terminal to the hotel for like 40 minutes. It's pretty awful. Like, our TZ was like, I don't know. He, he, he first landed, he hadn't slept properly either. And like, you can sort of have one person like that, but like when there's three people and two of them are your course, like it's really hard. Plus you have a stand-in. So do you think that affected your play on day yeah, one? Yeah, definitely. It's our first match of the MLG Columbus Dota 2 circuit. It's Speed Gaming versus Alliance. That right this could be our first blood. This looks like trouble for AUI 2000. He's got no points in Shallow Grave. He gets caught out by his son. The first blood of MLG goes to the Alliance. They force out a TP. They get the first blood. They give up nothing. And they may well go back in. Here comes EGM wrapping around. And this should be another kill. Arteezy's going to fall. Speed Gaming. No mana for a Burrow Strike. He doesn't have a Sandstorm here. He gets healed up. But the sentries ready. Alliance are just tearing through Speed Gaming. What a stun coming out from EGN. Two heroes caught by the unstable concoction. They get three despite using the lasso on the Doom and not even killing him. Arrow to fly from Saint Saint, just scouting things out. And oh, unfortunately for him, he just missed Ake, who's now trying to farm his neutral. I think they ping him. I think they, they saw that Nova coming out. Now they've definitely spotted him. Double damage turn deployed. There's no tier one here. This looks to be a quick and easy solo kill. Let's oh. He gets juked! Oh! No. Sing Sing, please! Sing Sing. Oh no. That arrow not gonna find Ake. That... Sing Sing just jukes himself there. Yeah, that was. He has phase drum. This Crystal Maid is not running away from him. Just yeah. overthinks it a bit. I... A rare misplay. I'm not sure why he was using that. that the, the leap there for it all. He does not need it. Highlight Dive very close to the completed Blink Dagger. To me, that is the number one item Speed Gaming needs now. Reliable longer range initiation. Outside of the arrow, which has been anything but reliable this game. Try to go and load it here, but Envy's gone in. All by his own. So now he gets last, but they need a shallow grave. Where is it? It comes in from me. No, it doesn't. There's no shallow grave. They're gonna get the kill. Now Arteezy's likely to fall. That's too dead. The heal's doing nothing, and Alliance. They just hit the kill switch. He was just running in by himself there. It seemed like Speed Gaming, a little bit of nerves, like you said, just not on the same page. This time we've got Speed Gaming going up against Sigma. Oh, arrow hits Arteezy in the mid lane. Sorry to cut you off, but Nuke immediately comes out from Bucking Bat and Arteezy just gonna get destroyed. They got completely demolished in that lane and Arteezy's about to go down to that Priestess right quick as well. And speaking of which, Arteezy, he, he's getting destroyed on that OD, man. Like, oh, hookshot coming out. in from Sing Sing. He does get immediately oh blown up, though, as soon as he gets heroes conked. Pilai Dai gets in with a nice two-man stun and a sandstorm. There's just not enough damage coming out from Speed Gaming. Just lost your OD again. He's now sitting at 0-5, and, and Arteezy just not having the impact you need your mid player to have. But a return blink stun oh, coming in no. from Pilai Dai. What was he thinking, man? There goes the melee racks. Ranged racks will be next to fall, and this is looking very very grim for speed gaming. Owie just barely lives, but the GG is called. They know they can't fight any longer. They know that the gyro is just too much. Speed gaming versus Fnatic. Neither team had a great start, but both hoping to finish to strong. Meanwhile, well, aggressive movement from Era. Maybe just trying to bait out a TP. The hook shot comes, but Arteezy shoots it right through the creep wave. Meanwhile, Arteezy trying to defend the top tower. Eats a void for his trouble. Driven back. They're going to dive him deep. He's silenced. He can't cog. He can't battery salt. Now the hand of God comes out. The hook shot off the mark. Clock has missed three hook shots so far. And, yeah. they and one of them was on creep. Just Arteezy having a very uncharacteristic poor game. I mean, speed gaming, their teamwork is just not there. But oh, a blink dagger? Oh, eternal is he, envy. Is he trolling? I don't this know. Must be trolling. It almost feels like they've just given up on this game. I'm not really sure. Speed gaming just kind of rolling over here for Fnatic, not even putting up a fight. Well Arteezy trying to get a hook shot. He four steps into the treants. 
and just dies. Arteezy just not on the same page with this team. He was like going in for the hook shot. He even if he had gotten the hook shot, there's no way he would have been able to kill Nature's Prophet. I kill. can't blame Arteezy for not being on the same page with his team because <laughs> like, there's I, I've never seen this page before. I don't know if it exists. The next level playbook, man. Like, and Fnatic just take care of business. They're gonna knock down Speed Gaming. I gotta say, this Speed Gaming team, Merlini, we expect better from them. They are not playing as well as what we've seen them play online in the past. I'm actually, you could call me a high school dropout, I guess. You dropped out of high school to play Dota? No, I dropped out from, I, I, like I went to Norway. For, like I, I, I wasn't, wasn't sure what I was doing, so I, I worked some in Norway. I, like I, did you do? Just the most awful things. Why, I Why did you choose to do that? Shoes, I had to do something. I, I, like that's what I thought, so I went and did that. It was pretty depressing. You, you're walking around like minus 25 degrees. Basically crying because it's so like it's just miserable. Like my life didn't have any direction or so to speak. So I wasn't going many places. But I was doing really well in school at one point, and I was doing engineering. The more I watched uh, like StarCraft, like Jadon Flash, like the more the people like that play like StarCraft and StarCraft 2 and Dota 2. Uh, the, the more I hated school, like the, the more games I watched, the more I realized like that's not what I want to do. So uh, I realized that like in order for me to be happy, I have to uh, make sure that I try this at least. And if I fail, then at least be like you know at least I tried. And so I don't have to think about it anymore. Or else I'll always be like, um, like it, 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 my life could have been different, and I don't want to have that regret. Uh, what do parents? think of it did uh, do them support you in your profession so i knew that they wouldn't support me when i decided to do this so i had i, I had everything planned out I, I had enough money to live one year even if they kicked me out of the house so i told them there's only two options either you guys kick me out of the house and i live for one year alone and i try to do this or you let me do it here you don't you don't kick me out and i still do this <laughs> and like my mom was really, really uh, upset. My dad was like, he was pretty upset too, but he knew that, that I had to do this. My mom didn't really understand. Now that you've been on a team with Jackie Mao for how long? Uh, five months, perhaps. Five maybe months. Six, I'm not sure. Tell us about, tell us about him. Um, I think he is the most try-hard person I've played with in my life. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. He really, really wants to win. He tries his best everywhere he goes. What have you learned from your experiences on KP? Life-wise, like life in your life? Uh, just like be responsible, I guess. It actually really helped me become more responsible. Before KP, like in real life and also like in Dota, I, I was like just a clown, you know, I didn't take anything seriously. Because I think like school didn't matter to me, Dota didn't really matter to me, I was just like, a clown. But like after that, like, I'm, like people actually try a lot, to try to be the best. Trying to, trying to advance today, got to win out. Gonna be tough, but... Have to call 5-0. It's 5-0 or nothing, pretty much. We're gonna be bringing you Speed Gaming International versus not as Vinzir, Navi, they're actually gonna force this out. Nice ultimate gonna come out from Havolos. They're gonna try and pick off Arteezy, maybe not. Havolos actually going up, but he's run into a trap. They're looking at him, three heroes just turn and fight him. Nice arrow actually lands on Kuru. He's gonna fall as well. Another three heroes go down, a fourth on the backside. Funnick is gonna get picked off. Tier two goes down, 13 to do, 12 minutes in. Speed Gaming is just dominating Navi right now. Navi is just getting uh, pretty dumpstered on, 17 to four. Almost a 20,000 gold lead, good god. It looks like this is gonna be an early game as Puppy, he's the first to call GG and Speed Gaming take Na'Vi in a very dominant way. The third game of the day, Pretty Boy Swag versus Speed Gaming. Arteezy was actually diving Rue on Meadow with his haste. He is dominating your Rue Burrows right now. And there it goes, he's gonna fall another time. Fourth kill in five minutes. Arteezy is on fire right now. Look at Arteezy go! Somebody's cooking. Oh my god, did he really? Did he really just, he just do that? Dove again. I didn't expect him to do that, it was, it was like 2v1. The RTZ does have double damage on a sheep. One more on attack, gets that one. Now gonna go for Jube with the orb. This is just a massacre. RTZ's going hand everywhere, picking up kills left and right. And there it is. I've had enough of this game. I gave you some mercy, but now you were done. Gonna be speed gaming versus 
evil geniuses. They're just so geo farming neutrals. And he's got the Empress and, and gets an arrow. My god, Sing Sing is on top of it this game. Martinez gonna zip in, try and grab MSS, and they're gonna be able to pop him. Actually, he gets able to activate Armlet in time. He's able to get away. Now Geo actually has the Storm Spirit Ultimate. Oh, Great shackle nice shot. Guy. Beautiful by Pilot Die. Universe in the back is getting beat up by the Eternal Envy. Double damage here. Beautiful play. Arteezy walks away, knowing the Orchid is going to be able to finish him off. He's still in a bit of trouble here, but the mech going off is going to be able to keep him alive. MSS is going to fall to the Doom, and the Chain Frost cleans up the two of them, actually. Fog teleporting. What is he doing? He's going to activate Frostbite, trying to go on the Wind Ranger, but here comes Arteezy. He's back for revenge, picking up kills left and right. Fearing some trouble, trying to get away, and that is going to be the game. All the ultimates get blown. Meanwhile, Wei is gonna get picked off by Sing Sing as well. He did get a nice little ultimate here, and that's gonna be a slide for Koipa. He sees blood in the water, but can he really pick this up? Koipa barely getting out in time. TC is now back in the fight. He's gonna wipe out RTZ. RTZ goes down, flop in the backside. The turtle enemy is gonna be able to pick him up. TC, they're trying to finish off the red speed gaming, cleaning up what they can. A ult's gonna go down. Owie, no mercy there. Oh, Boba's gonna go down. The DD coming back into play. TC. He has no invest. He's gonna go down next. He's gonna try and pick off Sing Sing, but he can't even get that much. The hook shot comes in just in time, but no. Short Spheres picks up the agent. Koipa picking up the supports on the backside. He's gonna fall. Aoi may go down in time. No. Artisi blowing up the Rubik. Bulba is able to get out. Koipa not able to get out. The instant she comes out from Artisi. Artisi going in. Koipa, they're gonna instantly pop him. Here comes TC, but he's trapped inside the cogs. He's gonna try and beat up Sing Sing. Actually, Rubik throws him away. Koipa coming back in. He's gonna lock down Eternal Levy. Can they finish him off? Even if he does, time lapse, there it goes just in time. He's going to turn around. This is going to be a lost team fight for Liquid. Oh, Initiation, Koipa. Here comes the Aeolt, and Koipa's done for. And he does not have a buyback for two minutes. Bulba's going to try and steal a little bit of damage, but it looks like he's going to get caught here. Again, the Scythe of Ice going to work. TC's in the middle blood, but gets popped instantly. There goes the rest of Liquid. The GG GL next comes out because Liquid knows that with this loss, they're kind of, you know, eliminated. They're not going to make the championship Sunday. But Speed, Speed's got a chance. Team DK versus Speed Gaming International. Oh, they're actually going to go for this now. RTC doesn't quite have his nuke up, his ultimate, but they're still going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. Nice shackle shot. Ice 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 is going to go down. Mushi's going to force it right here, right now. Moonlight Shadow is up. Another great shackle shot. MMI was done for. Burning's going to fall as well. BKB is going to be able to help out, but Pilot Die, he's looking for the shackle shot. He gets it. Nicely done. Pilot Die getting in front of Burning and locks him down. They get another pick on him. Burning, he's gonna run right into their total envy. Burning, gonna go down to the beginning of the map. Mushi, dragging RTZ away. They're gonna try and finish him off. RTZ still alive. He gets off another auto attack. Chain Frost is gonna be able to finish him off. Oh, and if they catch out Von M, if they catch him out, he activates his ultimate, and that may give uh, them time. Arrow is gonna miss, but it doesn't matter. They're still gonna pick it up. Mushi, dragging RTZ away. They need to be able to take that big damage dealer, but look it up. They're just cleaning up heroes left and right. Speed gaining. Takes another wipe and GG is called by Burning. Their first loss in Columbus, Ohio. Speed Gaming, what a play. They secure themselves a place in the playoffs. Very well played by the whole entire team. I'm pretty sure the top four is settled now as it's DK Sigma, Navi, and Speed. As Speed Gaming in a high pressure situation against an undefeated team. Win and you're in and what do they do? They just win. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MLG Columbus, their first ever Dota 2 Pro Circuit event. I'm LD, I'm joined by Luminous. It's time to introduce our teams, guys. It's gonna be Speed Gaming versus Sigma in. Again, one, one of the things that Sigma does really well is ganks, and back in the mid lane, we see Poss making that rotation. Here we go, the sun's gonna go right on RTZ. He does have a double damage. He's gonna work, he wants right, to right, right click Poss, but he really needs to pop that oh, bottom. Oh, he's still alive, still he's still alive. running. Got the Aegon skill. trying to escape out. They have an Alks done soon, TP, but I don't think they TP. have the vision for it. He could TP, maybe he just keeps it right. He's gonna deny the neutrals. Oh no, no TP, the creeps might kill him. Aegon's gonna live. Mid lane though, looks like they're gonna get more ganks. RTZ gets Astro up, and here comes Sog. There's gonna be Dream Call. Huge ultimate's gonna come through. RTZ gonna go down, but here comes Sing Sing. There's a cog on Sog. Sog, will he be okay? No hook just yet. Sog will bottle back up. 
I, oh, Ice Blast is gonna hit with everybody! Bang! Fanta's gonna shatter on the back line. I think Epping Man in huge trouble as well. There's a Nova for one kill. There's a shatter. Three heroes dead. My goodness. Now the Midas comes out. Casual, oh. <laughs> casual 10 minute Midas from your AA. I love this item choice. This He's is gonna him. be triple Midas. AUI 2000 has his recipe, needs 70 gold to pick it up. <laughs> Arteezy, no way out for him. But it was a four hero rotation. Whereas when Speed Gaming gets kills, it's at most two heroes in AA just sitting top and farming. They really have to take down this tier one mid tower to make that kill actually worth it. And I'm not sure whether they will be able to do so. They're hovering around the mid tower, but the AI spot's gonna it? come in. What is this on get out, out, get off my lawn, Highlight Dai says. Highlight Dai has sat there since the minute we has sat on top lane for 15 minutes. How often do you see a support hero do just that? But his impact, it's like you said, Highlight Dai's winning the game for Speed Gaming almost. There, there is already a finished mech on Fata. As we see an Ice Blast coming on the mid lane, Epping Mad gonna be a little bit trouble, but it seems like it's gonna be Arteezy. No, he gets one kill before dying. And again, that's all he really cares about. He's oh, on the he's run, the drum Stota, too strong. Arteezy says, uh-uh, not today. President he's got the point okay. booster. He's got the Ogre Club. We all know what's coming. That Ice Blast is gonna hurt like hell. Another one flies on the mid lane, bang. Gonna hit two, and well, with that being said, oh, we're gonna see what he's gonna shatter. Punk shatters. Oh my goodness, what another engagement for Speed Gaming. Guys, we're gonna do a quick Turtle Beach team chat over the Speed Gaming one. <laughs> you long range artillery, dude. I'm, I'm insulting mid. I'm gonna lock it there, too. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, you guys are disgusting human beings. You got him? No. Hey, what, get back slow. bottom, get back bottom, get back bottom, get back bottom. Like, I'm so sure they're going for something there. I got you covered, by the way, OGG. Okay. Sigma, it's gonna sneak a road. Up against Elder Titan, this normally doesn't happen because he can just keep on scouting with the Spirit, but I think it's where the way the game's developing, they did not expect it. Poss, your support, Alchemist, Snags, and Ages, and Sigma's bouncing back in a big way. But the AA Ice Blast just got upgraded. Forget, this is not long range artillery anymore. This is basically having an F-22 flying high. They've got some air support. Yeah, yesterday against Lola. Oh, Wayne, Poss, all kinds of trouble here for him. The support out pioneer. He looks to go down, but actually, with no AA ult here right now, he's tanking for a long time. He's got it ages. Saints in trouble, horrible fight. They might lose everyone. Do they get anyone out? AUI 2000 TP now, Saints in to fall. They get three in the end. Now they've got their flank on Puck. Now they'll push this top lane in. The Aegis on support out, just proving to be a huge boon for them here. Sigma in, they're punishing the Midas Gaming of speed now with head-on collisions, and they're coming out on top. I, the A ult's gonna be pretty useless in like 10 minutes if speed gaming isn't winning fights dramatically, and that's why I think Sigma in. Probably gonna be edge if it goes much They're gonna try to slow siege it, but guess what? Fata's trying to backstab as an OD. He's gonna run straight there's, into Sing no, Sing though. There's no gem here. There's no sentry wards here. This looks bad for speed gaming. This OD could just break the game wide open. And if they take this, Roshan's respawn. Uh -oh. But now they're going Envy, in. Gotta they go force Envy, gotta force happen. Poke shot to fly, catches out too. Meanwhile, your punch dropping low. Doesn't really get to unload the full combo. RTZ pops the BKB. Triple kill for RTZ. The OG's bought back, but nobody else seems to have the buyback. Only Elder Titan and Clockwork do. Sigma and might just have lost the game in one fight. That was an amazing fight for RTZ, getting his ultimate on everybody. Oh, effing mad! That's a kamikaze. That right was a short-range shotgun, not a long-range shotgun. Oh utility. no, OD will get shot. Arteezy's dropping low now. Another TP comes in from the puck. Arteezy is getting in sight. But they got the go Rex. Down. They got the Rex, so they pay with their lives. Roshan is up. Maybe something that Sigmund looks to pick up now. CM trying to TP out. Is going to get away. Meanwhile, Pylai die. Oh, Pylai die. As well. I think everyone lives. No, he gets out. Woo, what a fight. Oh, shot the fly. They found Epi Mad. Snipe, he's dead. He is so dead. He dropped the ultimate, but he'll fall. I like that skyline. Suddenly, 9, 1, and 10, Ancient Apparition. They've got 23 kills, and he's been involved in 19 of them. Pylai die. I think Bone Seven's the best player on this team, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is Pylai die. What a player. Epi's still sitting on the Aegis. He's got a double damage rune online. Oh, 
they just don't want to play right now. Oh, hook shot's gonna come in. The OG's got caught. Hook shot catches two from Saint Saint. He does get shackled. Five BKBs are available. They're gonna look to run. The Elder Titan are doing a lot of work. Saint Saint, first one down in this fight. He might not be the last one. The blood's being spilled. AUI comes in with the Crystal Maiden ult. Fossa's on the run. This Elder Titan hitting like a truck, but they're starting to drop low on speed gaming. Stop! RTZ delivers once again. And I think the real hero is Envy with this double damage here. Late game bottle, late game DD, winning that fight and maybe winning this game more. Crystal Maiden getting that Rax for his team. They're gonna get in one more hit. There you go, double laser Rax. Maybe Eternal Envy didn't matter when all he had was the Desolator and Chrysalis, but when he's got a Daedalus and a double damage rune from a late game bottle, suddenly he makes a world of difference. GG! Picks up the bottle, gets a double damage rune, and forces out the win. It was just amazing recognition by Eternal Envy. Guys, it's time. Speed Gaming versus Sigma International Game 2 of your best of three. Here we go. It's getting late here. It looks like we're going to see a gank attempt on Arteezy. He popped off the refraction. The long arrow, that's going to hit nothing as Are well. Really Arteezy wants to go right back in on Poss. Can they actually kill Poss? Huge ultimate here from Fanta Punt. Bigger mail strike from Arteezy. Great play here from Speed Gaming. Let's do a Turtle Beach team chat. What's going on with Speed Gaming? No. Oh no, I'm going to go. Oh wow. Can go top maybe so. Oh my god. I think, oh yeah, no. I had a thing. Got him! Nice. Good job. Fucking slay! Uh, can someone find me as well? I'm not sexy, I don't know. I know, I know, I know, but I think we get him anyway. I'm almost sexy. Oh, he has the best around. He's so jolly. He's just coming here. He's coming here. I can slow him. I feel like going. Okay, okay. Keeping bottom. Oh no. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that was bad. We should have just waited for level 6. Oh, we need to shape up here. here, here. This might be a Roshan sneak coming out from Speed Gaming. And it's the fact that they're so far behind, I think this is a correct gamble to go for. 12 minute ages. That had to have caught Sigma in completely by surprise. Now an arrow they flies bottom. The Snipes him again. Saint Saint just doesn't miss this fella. They find Fanta, but a triple rainbow of TP's coming. They've got Eclipse. They pop it now. Unfortunately, the creeps tank nearly all of it. Effie met on the run. He's trapped out. They cancel two TP's. They give up another kill, but Speed Gaming now will forfeit their top tower. Still, Speed got to be happy with this. Not only do they get one tower, they're looking for another. The tower falls. Speed Gaming just making the better decisions this game. They're just out executing Sigma right now. Overall, to me, oh, 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 no chance in hell he gets it off. Triple Centaur stun though. The There's a buyback. Buyback. They want to fight this. Effing Mad is in a lot of trouble, but a great Clockwork Cogs is going to keep him safe. The BKB comes out from Sokska, and on the backside, they go on to our TZ. Melts. He gets dusted. Can they focus him? Set back. Hammer set drop. back. Low. Dead. Power shot. Clips him on the retreat. Now Miguel giving chase. Highlight item fall. And a huge victory. Arteezy died three times in the past like 30 seconds. Effie died. He fought back and did nothing with the buyback. Also, tier one tower goes down. Speed Gaming, I talked about the go grab of zero. Now it's going the other direction again. They're just so much stronger now. This is where you need to be creative, and they're digging deep. Arteezy, he backdoors the top tier one. A little rat dodo from the A god. He'll take the tower down. But they're trading for a tier two now. Hook shot to fly. They found Pilot Sent back. Sent back. I don't know if it's in time. It is in time. He gets back. Speed Gaming, again, just outplaying Sigma. If they weren't outplaying them, they'd be losing this game. Call Down's gonna come through. Kylai Dai quickly forced F to freedom. He's gonna end up living. He actually forced F himself, but now the back step comes. Remember, Gyro's got BKB. He's the centerpiece of this lineup. They need to spread. Oh, Envy! The BKB. Big Eclipse, but it's only level one. It doesn't do enough damage. Now Envy's likely to go down here. If the battery cell can clip him, he gets out, but they will lose too. Uh, Speed Gaming forcing a fight that does not really go in their way. Pylai Dai drops as well. Buyback from RTZ. They've lost quite a few heroes in this team fight. As farmed as he is, I'm, I'm getting a little bit concerned for Sigma. Not sure why they glyphed there, to be honest. Misclick, I guess? Yeah. I'm not losing your glyph, though, against Sigma. Um, some games it doesn't matter, right? But this is a Luna Chen TA. They're going to push towers really fast. So maybe that glyph means they lose a tier two after the upcoming team fight if it doesn't go their way. Now the Long hook comes, though. They found Arteezy out, so they have detection. Who's caught who? Who's trapped who, Miguel? I'm not sure he wants this fight. Arteezy's still got Aegis. They'll bring him down once. I think they can do it again. They've got a Hex. They've got an Impale. But Pilot dies here. He says, get away from my friend. Our oh, no. needs help. But there's a Shackle. Did the Refraction come out? He didn't get it off. Set he back. Be sent home to freedom. 
the oh, Chen. How about this Chen though? Ooh, Chen is so invisible. They, they don't have protection. Gems. Where's the gem? Oh, Sock's going on high ground. He's got the BKB. He's got to be very careful. The focus fire is all there. Luna on the back line. Huge eclipse. Going to work. Envy is killing everybody. Force that brings him back home. He's okay as well. Team fight victory for Speed Gaming. Save Outplay. Sigma, yeah, flat out outplayed. They just got pulled apart. Speed Gaming picked them. The carcass is now on the floor, and Speed Gaming, they might just take racks. They might just take this game. There's no the more glyph. The misclick on the glyph previously. It is going to matter. It's going to make the difference here. One later racks down. They might get two. This could be it for Sigma. They'll retreat out now. Sigma are definitely going to fight this one to the bitter end, but that was a massive, massive blow to their lineup. They need to coming fight in. now. Sigma, They're they have forced to fight. Fata, he's heading towards the bottom rune. It's about to spawn. Will it be a rune? No. Nothing here. Arrow to fly. Off the mark. Roche dropping low. They pop the Moonlight Shadow. The hook shot. Not going to connect for Miguel. That could cost them this fight. There's an Aegis still on the ground. Aegis, Somebody pick, pick it up. Aegis. Arteezy's going to grab it. And now the fight looks really bad for Sigma. Paris likely to fall. He will. Effing mad next. They're crumbling under the pressure. Arrow once again. Saint Saint's done it. Arrow after arrow. Relentless aggression and one more team fight goes speed gaming's way that rax is definitely going down this is it speed gaming are overrunning sigma they're doing it guys they were 0-3 on day one here they are about to take game two about to go to the mlg columbus grand finals crushing performance straight for the throne no mercy from ee sama and friends Maybe there's one more fight left in Sigma. They have all of their ultimates. Here we go. Seven seconds till here. They're going to go right on Arteezy. Fly but keep in mind, runner. there's Aegis and Chi still available. Poss being zoned out. Arteezy gets hexed up. No, force out. What just happened? Arteezy's still alive, though. Mego is going to be a little bit trouble as well. Force that back out. It looks like Sock. Dropping those flags. Uh, he's got ages, so he comes back with BKB. Does not pop it. He goes what? down to the end. The arrow's going to connect. Oh my goodness, are they turning this game around? They're going to take the fight. But they have lost two laner back. They need a lot more. Arteezy does have buyback here. The Sigma's Shad going also for buyback. The Sigma's going to force out the double buyback, but there is still Glyph available. But if somehow Sigma wins a team fight right here and kills three or four, Sigma could win this game. They need racks, and then they need to run because everyone's about to go back to life. There is a buyback now from the Templar Assassin, and well, Sigma going to retreat up. They have not got Rex. I'm calling this a big victory for Sig Speed Gaming. Even uh, Vault Sigma. Yeah, if they don't get Rex here, oh, that's here not comes about. Moonlight here comes Shadow. Speed Gaming is looking to the chase. A hook back in. BKB works to activate. Here we go. MV activates the BKB and the Eclipse is going to come out. It's going to be up to Sox. Sox BKB's out. He's taking so much damage. Pylite die with the freezing field. They would just wipe Sigma and the push goes the other way. He pops the trap, he jumps on the Miguel, gets four step into the middle of the cuffs. Miguel, arrow to fly, that's on the mark. Miguel, gonna drop, the throne could be Arteezy's next. Arteezy's gonna go down four step, down. just oh. barely out of the range. AI dropping low, he pops the be mech back up. This is like Pong, back and forth they go. It's Speed Gaming starting to retreat. Pylite, <laughs> get out of there. And they'll retreat for now. Yeah, they, they oh, have will they? They're selling themselves back up. They want to win right now. Yeah, this is where you want like 10 salves. You just keep on going. They'll jump in on the beat on the dark counter. But he bumps BKB. He turns around Arteezy. Remember Arteezy bump back. If he dies again, he won't have it. But turtle enemy. Finger of death comes through. He's still alive. Arteezy. Alive for a moment. Alive for a moment. But one more four step. The oh refraction! The refraction! Oh my god! Fada goes down! Three arrows dead! Arteezy's alive. I think he's gonna live. He will fall, but Fada does too. Four to fall. They won five. Epping mad. He's the lone survivor here. He's gonna go down, and once he dies, that's it. There's, There's no the lead. Back. Scott Leap. There you go. Finally, oh, that's gonna clean it up. Me. Killing spree on him. Speed Gaming finally forced out the GG. They're going to the grand finals. It was just great team fights, one after another. Arteezy backstabbing. Envy flanking from all sides. Speed Gaming just crashed down on Sigma. Can you see Speed Gaming taking the whole, to the whole tournament? How can you not believe? We are now ready for our grand finals. It's going to be DK versus Speed Gaming. Is there anything you would like to say to this crowd and to your opponent? Both seven give me strength. And we'll quickly introduce him. Speed Gaming over on the right inside. Pilot Die, the European support player on the win runner. He's really been in a lot of ways the MVP of this team at times. Sing Sing going to be handling the Kunker. We're going to see Eternal Envy on the Doom. Arteezy, the A-God, 
on the OD, and then finally, it's AUI 2000. He's gonna be on your Lich. Bottom lane though, this could be our first bloody, could be our first tower. Envy's in trouble. He tries to go for the deny. He's not able to get it. Mushi takes it and now. He's on the run. Frostbite's cooling down. The Fissure's gonna fly. First blood to Team DK. Mushi, Arcane Boots are up at like four minutes and then suddenly he's got 1300 gold on top of this. He's getting absolutely huge. Mid lane, the tower deniable and one more blast from Mushi. Gonna bring it down, DK get the last T1 tower on the map. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. EE has fallen, and there's no trade in sight for Speed Gaming. This is looking very promising for DK. They get the kill bottom, and now they're going to be looking to force this into a tier 2 push. Yeah. Tower after tower, Mushi up to 2k gold. These pushes are just not being dealt with because they can't be. Yeah. Speed Gaming failing to find any sort of trade at every corner. Oh no, oh no, he's really? It's a Midas Clam. A Midas for Clockwork. DK say, we can beat your greed speed. We'll just one-up you. I think for DK, no reason to force the fight. Just siege the tower. And that's yeah. exactly what they're going to do. Have to see if Ice 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 looks engaged. But with this this kind of an item build at Midas, you do not really want to be taking these fights. What a shackle. He's going to catch him out. The power shot comes through. But Arteezy, the one who's been caught here, he does force Death away. Dropping low. Ice 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 hooking in. Unable to connect. But he finds a turtle enemy. Oh, here comes the Chain Frost. Bouncing left, bouncing right. It's doing a whole lot of damage. Nobody He's died yet, but another shackle on two. Chain Frost still bouncing. Mushi getting duped. Torrid also on two. This is bad to worst. DK are self destructing here. Three dead. They're going to lose the Aegis. They're going to lose four. They're going to get team wiped, I think. What a disaster for DK here in the top lane. Burning going to go down. Loses his second life there. Team wipe for Speed Gaming. How on earth did that go so wrong? Well, Lone Druid has the Radiance, but look at this T1 mid. It's going to go. Mushi gets stupid. Envy on the front lines. Four stuff that He's getting low. Ice 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 trying to fish him off. The mech keeping Envy alive. Mushi dropping low. In comes Burning. He doesn't have the Radiance yet, it looks like. Ice Ice Ice. There's another Shackle. Hero to Clockwork. It bounces to Mushi. He does manage to pop the mech. He's going to live for now. But they axe the bear. They taunt the bear. The Fissure comes in. He wants to walk in. He doesn't have Echo Slam. He has no Crystal Maiden ult. Doing decent damage. Burning. Radiant's still not here. I it's on his hero. Oh, it's on his okay, hero. He's burning zero. people himself. He's going to burn down Arteezy here. Arteezy has nowhere to run. Burning says, I don't need Radiance on my Spirit Bear. It's better on myself. Oh, no. He's got him multiple kills here. He's going to get some more here. Burning is low, but Sing Sing getting even low. He gets more down by Death burning. Jumped, slam, slams it home. All right, guys, with that being said, as Roche is about to fall, let's take a look inside the war room for Speed Gaming. Let's do a turtle beat for Team Chat. I think we back off and form our lanes. I'll play. I'll play, yeah, I'll play, I'll play. Can I kill the work? Kill this guy? They fought back. Go, 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 go,
but even with BKBs, if you catch him by surprise with a Blink Echo Slam, you can maybe get him before they use it. Or you just, Lamb is patient. He'll wait them out and wait for the openings to present themselves. Ugh. There's just so much armor coming out from the speed gaming lineup with Ice Armor still up, stacking with the Lich Ice Armor. This team is just so damn tanky. I'd say like 95% of games, you see Dooms will just eat the Alpha Wolf. Have the crit, uh, as well as have the yeah. damage armor, but Envy's just stuck with the Ice Armor, and it's been such a smart choice for the team. It really has made a big difference. Who are you going to TP top? Uh-oh. They just see him top. They should just DK, go right I think now. Ping, yeah, he TP's top, and then he's immediately running back to base. Oh, he's realized it's a mistake. The Shackle's going to fly. BKB Bear starting to work on the tower, but there is a Glyph available. Oh, One it's a crit. crit. One crit. The Bear's almost dead. That's without the OD there. Push over. Back off, Dunskis. guys. We did 200 damage to the tower. Job done. Maybe that's what they have to do. Just take this another 40 minutes. 200 damage a push made for your two berry summons. I don't know, guys. They're really struggling. DK are going to look to see high ground. Maybe they get in range for another blast. No, the sight's on the bear. Bear's dropping fast. Birdie BKB is on his hero, but just he can't do anything during this time. Is he going to transfer items? Now he's forced to retreat out. Well, that BKB didn't do much. DK have eight. They've taken every Roshan, Aegis cheese, all of these going their way. They've had multiple cheese at various points, but... They still sit back. They still can't fight. Starting to get towards that mythical 12 slot status, but here's the initiation. It goes on to Lamb. The Lincoln Sphere is going to keep him safe for now. Arteezy four stepped away. Bernie BKB is on his hero and runs in, but he doesn't get to hit anything. He doesn't get to do anything. He's right clicking creeps, and Speed Gaming aren't taking damage. The bear forced back. It does have a BKB if it needs it. DK just don't see an opportunity to engage. That bear, like each. Or from the OD is doing like 300 damage or something. It will go down in probably about eight or nine hits. And he hits OD. fast too. He's got a lot of stats at this Ooh. point. Bernie gets forced in now, gets exits a torrent to follow. Uh oh, this looks bad. Now the ODO gets dropped. One down, the veil's still there. Double ODO, but Bernie cheeses up. Arteezy's BKB is gonna run out. Can they bash lock him down? Bernie is gonna fall. Arteezy wicked sick. Double kill for him. Now of Doom on Mushi and SP Gaming. They're just not taking damage. Blink. Way too oh, second slam. He's got one sub. He's got a second. He's taken out one already. He's gonna get AUI. What a play from Lamb. Unbelievable. What a turn of events. Saint Saint's gonna fall. They have quite a few buybacks. This is another bear. They're gonna need to lose him. Use him right now. Lamb's on the chase. Eternal Envy. He could go down as well. It's almost He's got no buyback. I can't believe it! Lamb is the hero once again for this DK team! They're still in this game, LD! Crouching Earthshaker hitting a Lamb! He does it once again! Really trying to find DK, but DK are just sitting so far back. Uh-oh, Ice 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 about to be caught out. He jukes into the trees. They've seen him. They spotted him, but he BKB Shivas. It's a trap. Moshi's there as well. Wait for the Echo Slam. It's probably coming soon. The Double Basher is going to work on Arteezy. Double BKB, Double Basher. He gets rooted. It's He's still alive. Dunk, not going to be that successful from Lamb. He blinks it. He's got another Echo Slam. He'll drop it now. It's not enough. They've lost Burning. The Gambit backfires, and DK might well get wiped. They took a big risk there going for that fight. Ice 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 still alive. He doesn't buy back. He's going to bring down Sing Sing, though. Sing Sing, has he got his buyback? No, he does not. DK looked to turn this around. They focus Eternal Emmy. They blink forward. They enchant Totem him. If they bring him down, he's dead. He does a buyback. He's going to fall. Oh, that's, that's very, very unexpected. I agree with you there. Now the fight breaks out. Arteezy, he pops the ult, drops the hammer. But do they bring anyone down? Lamb first to fall. First casualty of war. The fight's not over yet, though. Ice 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 TPing out. Can he live? He will. Arteezy, Arteezy goes down. down. Moshi the kills him. The life drain. So much damage. But now, Mushi out of mana, still giving chase. Like Boots to fall. travel. Bernie coming back to the fight. He buys back for this one. Even sold some items to get here. He's going to look to summon his bear. He's going to look to go in. He needs to he bring his bear die, out. Though. Here comes Ooh, another Jackal. buyback. Boots of traveling from Mushi. Bad support has arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. They now are able to lock down Pilot Knight. Can they bring him down? There's a Doom out of the Crystal Maiden. What an odd target to Doom in the midst of this fight. That means no Doom for the bear. No buyback on the Doom. And I think DK might have done it. They've taken two lanes of rag. And now burning the big bad bears on a rampage going for the mega creeps i think he's gonna get them the bear may fall but speed gaming in absolutely dire straits he needs a cleave he's got the devil day Lilith. he needs to find some way of going in but he just can't do so he gets it's one but it does oh does did he kill the bear heroes? mega creeps for dk 74 minutes in at long glass they've broken speed gaming space and now the creeps come marching in. There we go. It's the Divine Rapier. Oh, yeah. Saint Saint's looking to chop off some heads here. I think I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. This game is as... This is epic. Oh. Here we go. Now the initiation comes. Lamb on Arteezy. He's got no, He's buyback. Got no buyback. It's all over. That could, that's 100 seconds Surely. dead. That's, that's game. Well, Sing Sing. Sing well, Sing may not. say maybe otherwise. Not. Maybe not. Maybe it's not. all yeah. up to you, the Beaver Knight.
Sing Sing. What can you do, Save sir? our rares, Sing Sing. Save our rares. They're unable to push and even try for the buyback. Scythe comes on the pylon, dying. Now the hook shot comes in. Ice, ice, ice. Jams it home. They get the kill. And now buyback. there's a Doom on the bear, but he's got to resummon here. I don't think it's going to be enough. They're the bear's got to be once. Sing Sing, another huge crit. 1,800 damage. He does kill off the Crystal Maiden. One swipe, one kill. CM buys back immediately. They continue to siege this base. They BKB on the bear. They're focusing on the throne. Forget about the heroes, because if the bear kills it, it won't matter. Oh, another Lamb jumps in. coming in from Sing Sing. What a BKB timing. Ooh, the bear goes down. There's no second bear. Burning is actually no bears left. Burning is taking a lot of damage here. He's just going to run. He Sing actually Sing's goes down. Hero. Another crit. The Beaver Knight, the savior Ooh. of speed gaming. Sing Sing doing it, but Wait, Lamb comes back slam. in. Get dunked, fool, he says. Sing Sing's going to fall. Sing Sing. Also, no buyback. No, sorry. He does have it. Buys back immediately. Now they go into Envy. And Envy, I think he's going down ice, here. Ice, Ice, has the Divine Rape. Envy going to go down to the Life Drain. It looks like DK may finally have done it. In goes Sing Sing. No crit just yet. He gets hexed up. Sing Sing. He's going to fall. Abyssal. There's your ODO. Uh, it scratches them. It doesn't do enough this time. Double ODO. Still not enough. Creeps are working on the throne. They're desperate. They burning need this dead. burning kill. He still has a, no, no actually, buyback. No buyback for burning. But the throne, the tier fours are falling. The base is burning all around them. Even if Speed Gaming kill all five heroes, I think they may just lose to Creeps. There's no Kunkka. And Kunkka's the one hero who has to be alive to push out these Creeps. DK are doing it. 85 minutes in. They're going for the throne. Ice 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 just stalling. Creeps circling around the throne. They're this running in frost. circles. Chain Frost does nothing. <laughs> Barely even tickles the wave. They don't have the AoE. Oh. They're boxed in. Envy's going to get scythed up here. He's probably going down soon. In comes the Hulk shot. Amushi, another scythe. Can they kill him off? Divine Frost Rapier on the ground, yeah. Rapier hits the deck. Envy dying to creeps. I don't think he can make it out. He rapier. can't grab the rapier. He does do so. Attack. He's barely Fight alive. Fight for your life, Envy. Just keep on attacking. You can't run. You've got to try and life till Ice 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 is back. He'll free. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MLG Columbus, the grand finals of MLG's first ever Pro Dota 2 event. I'm LD, I'm joined by Gods, and we just got done witnessing history being made. It's time to get into it. Speed Gaming versus DK, game two. Before the, before the game started, um, we were debating, like, do we ban Wisp? Because we know that DK, when they really, really want to win a game, they pick Wisp. And they really want to win against Alliance, they really want to win against Navi, so they pick Wisp. We always banned against Deke in the second phase. We did it in the first game uh, against them in a uh, round robin, and we did it again in the finals, the first game. Mm -hmm. So in the second game, we were like, all right, they're going to first pick it now, like in the first phase. Should we ban it? And I, I was, uh, I wanted to ban it, but Pilot, I was like, let's rape them. <laughs> oh, Deke go Wisp. Right away. Radiant they don't, team they, pick. They're not messing around. All right. Now, DK, they've been the most successful team at this tournament with Wisp. Haven't lost a game with it. Crystal Maiden, Pylai Dai leading the charge here. They're really confident in their level one team fight. We'll see Eternal Envy, EX Summer on the Clinks, Visage in the hands of AUI 2000, Arteezy on the Timbersaw, and then finally it's Sing Sing on the Mirana. Uh oh, yeah. Sentry Ward's here. Lamb saw this. Uh, did he see this room get picked up? They've even got dust. They're expecting they, they Clinks to get first one here. Pylai Dai. He's got to be careful. This could well be our first blood. Suddenly the trap is sprung and the chase is on. Pylai Dai, they've caught him out. They have dust because of the clinks. And as a result, Pylai Dai gives up our first blood. Meanwhile, top lane, Envy's just been crushing Burning. Burning's up to four, just hits five CS, but some of those are actually small little neutrals, so Envy getting all the fun he needs. Middle lane, it's a smoke gank from Pylai Dai and AUI 2000. Seven. This game, they're going in on Mushi now. Mushi's gonna get caught, Frostbitten up. He's has already used his Astral, but he drops the hammer. One more right click, not enough to get the kill. Pylidai lives with 27 HP. My goodness, that was close. And with the two points of Essence Spray, it is annoying for Speed Gaming to defend this tower. They really need to deny, do they get it? This is crucial. Who's gonna get the tower last hit? It goes to the Wisp, and now AUI's on the run. But from the backside comes a wild Arteezy. He drops all the AOE nukes. He gets two. He's looking for three. Triple kill for Arteezy. That was like the perfect possible situation. Well, the A-God giving space for Envy now, who has a six and a half minute minus. Pilot Dai gonna retreat back, and Mushi is 
it's going to find him, but out of range. <laughs> nice rune deny. Kyle Idai just making all these little but important plays. It's an arrow coming in onto Ice Ice Ice. Now that Crystal made an ultimate, gets dropped, but Ice 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 is still alive for now. He's being healed up. Saying say one more right clip, gets the kill, pays with his life. One for one here, but it was a bigger investment, at least initially, from DK. It was a cool little engagement that they used on Ice Ice Ice. Atizi's now showing up well. He wants MMY. MMY may just go down here. The Whirling Death doing so much damage. He timber chains through. Atizi is dominating. Arteezy is literally winning this game by himself right now. What a player. Oh, he's going to oh, no. go down. Oh, no, that's a big kill streak. You jinxed him, LB. I jinxed him. I am so sorry. You know, kill streak aside, that's experience. Chen hits level six. One minute ago, this guy was level three. <laughs> he just got three levels out of that fight. I think I have some very angle. Ice, 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 ice. Arrow by there. Sing Sing. Well, speed gaming. They're not done pulling ahead here. These arrows from Sing Sing, he, he's just been on the mark with the, with the Marana in this tournament. But he's very squishy. He may be dead too. Here comes your Searing Arrows burning. He is tethered up. It's not going to save him. Burning goes down. Another big kill. Another one for the young gun. And the Aegon strikes again. They're hunting towards the top lane. They might find an opening. Burning. He's very squishy. Out comes the Searing Arrows. He does get off his stun, but he just melts. Hand of God. Keep him alive. Is it enough? It's not. The Wisp relocates up, but it's just a split second lane. Now I say Ice Falls. Two are dead in a matter of seconds, and he it's not over yet. He peed into that arrow, but immediately blown up. Now Lamb is caught out in the jungle. He's going to be somewhat surrounded here. The Shakram catching up Mushi as well. He's got a full stuff. He maybe wants to save it for himself. He can't use it on Lamb. Lamb goes down. Speed Gaming get three. Speed Gaming say we can Midas Gaming too. We practically invented it in the West. They've got a Midas now on their Crystal Maiden, as well as the Vistage. Well, the Crystal Maiden Midas being blown out, so give them four Midas. Right from the get-go, they're playing from behind. And quite a lot from behind. 10,000 gold lead going the way of Speed Gaming. Yeah, that's a massive gold lead at 19 minutes in. Boy, has it really risen to watch. And there's your Blink Blink. So now Blink Orchid, and this is where the Blink Dagger, as much as it just felt weird without Orchid, is amazing with it. You can just snipe anybody. It makes it so much easier to split push, so much easier to get out of ganks. If they ever relocate gank, he just blinks away. So I'd say Eternal Envy is unkillable unless he decides he wants to fight and maybe die. Yeah. Arrow to fly, Mushi. Oh! That was so close. Wow. You'd like to have a lot of items. You'd like to have a Shadow Blade. You'd like to have an Assault Caress here. Uh-oh. Do apologize for, for stuff going on, guys. Hope to get the game back up. There we go. Sorry about that, guys, but looks like everything is back underway. It's a te temporary technical difficulty. You mentioned the eggs on Vistage, and I just, in general, Speed Gamer just getting loads of items. I think that's the way to sum up. Yeah. Everybody's got a lot. The Crystal Meter with the mech. Manta style up for Sing Sing. Everybody's farming, and DK have like only two or three heroes that are farming. The BKB. Uh, yep, BKB now complete on Eternal Envy. Only 26 minutes in. One of the fastest farming performances you can have on a Clake, and he started in the aggressive lane. Speed Gaming now group up bottom lane once again. It's an arrow to start things off. It's going to be slightly off the mark. We'll see a four step coming next for Ice Ice Ice. The Orchid's a big pickup here. I wonder oh, if Speed Gaming. Oh. from Envy. He pops a BKB. He's going to blow up burning. BKB just blows him up to relocate back to base. Oh. Doesn't come in time. And Eternal Envy shows the power of Blink Clicks. BKB, Blink in. There's nothing they can do. Speed Gaming pushing down the middle lane. They'll look for the tier two, the last remaining outer tower. They take this, the next Roche will be even harder for DK to contest. And DK just do not want to fight outside the yeah. base. They're point. just going to let tower after tower go. That's your final out of tower. Speed Gaming pull ahead up to like 16, 17,000 gold lead for them. This is looking almost insurmountable. DK have smoked up. They're looking to go bottom lane. It's daytime. I believe they've been spotted. Uh-oh. Smoke gets revealed by Pylai Dai. The fight could have started a lot worse. Saint Saint is shackled. Now they hex up Arteezy. They got to focus him down. Now they decide to run, but you can't run from this speed gaming lineup. Already three have fallen. Mushi could well be next. Can he get out of here? Another timber chain. Bernie on the run. Four heroes about to fall. He does drop the hammer. He's going to live. Now a Blake forward. Bernie gets off a quick stun. It's not enough. He goes down. A crit from EE. They get a team wipe and speed gaming. GG, like surely. I don't think there's anything DK can do at this point. They're going to glyph and try and hold on. GG gets called by Burning. We're going to game three in the grand finals. We're going the distance, ladies and gentlemen. Speed Gaming Force Game 3. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MLG Columbus 2013. It's our final match. We've gone the distance. Who's going to win? That's a tough question. I, I think anyone coming into this matchup would definitely have favored DK, but after the way Speed Gaming 
manhandled DK in game two, it seems like they actually have really well prepared for Team DK. One thing's for sure, that DK are not afraid, afraid of the EE Summer Clinks. That is still in the pool here. DK, if they want to go up against it, they maybe have a plan prepared for this one. A strong safe lane, tr safe trial and I feel is just fine, and you can just deal with the Clinks in the mid game if you actually have some farm called heroes. So maybe they're just thinking, Hey, look, we'll give them the clinks again. We can actually deal with it this time much better than game two. One other option is we do see the Eternal MB clinks. Okay. He made big plays in game two. He really, I, he shouldered the load after Arteezy did the heavy early lifting in the mid game. Speed Gaming put it all in on the E Summer clinks. It's had mixed results. The one game uh, at the end of day one, which they lost, uh, definitely not one of his best games against Fnatic, but game two against DK. That was something coming out from Eternal Envy, but he got all the space in the world. The lane set up, the draft just really worked out that he had all that space in farm, but I don't think DK are going to give him as easy a time here in game number three. On the Radiant side, Speed Gaming's AUI 2000 on the Chen. We'll see Eternal Envy, EE Sama on the click, soloing the middle lane. Arteezy, the A God on the OD. In the off lane, it's going to be your Sing Sing Clockwork, and then finally, Support Crystal Maiden for Pylai Dai. Gods, you forgot to introduce the sixth man. Eternal Envy in his pregame interview said, Bone 7, give me strength. Begins. He's here in spirit with, with Speed Gaming. That's why they've all got a 7 at the end of their names. At the same time, the. Well, Scouted. This observer with Caesar. Uh oh, Ice 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 in trouble. Now the Alks here. A wild stun appears, but once again, there's an Astral Dodge, and this time I think there's they might have the backup. I always hear. Oh, 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 oh turn is around. Control. Gets one. Once two. He'll get two, and now Mushi on the run. I like this rotation though. MB is one here who can rotate and kill off Mushi. Mushi out of mana, MB with max out searing arrows. But Mushi's positioning is pretty good. I don't think he's stopped. Oh, maybe he will get caught. He walked back Did in I here. Him? No, I think he's just... Oh, one more searing arrow. It's going to bring Got down him. Mushi. Eternal Envy. Just enough damage. Floyd needs, he has to be very careful. Looks like Speed Gaming just going for a trade at top lane. They'll give uh -oh. up this T1 mid. He's running in. Pylai dies. Should have spot him out by now, but the track comes through. He didn't have his camera there from the looks of thing dropping low. Can they kill him in time? Sent back home. A few more seconds. He's going to live. He'll heal up by the time this soul assumption gets there. He's going to crash into the base. He actually almost died to it. That was close. Not going to go for the naked familiar stun. And it is a blink clink, so it's a blinks. Get out blinks. Right. Get out blinks. It's uh, gonna be at the bottom lane. Gonna catch out Lamb here. Lamb hits level six, but this is such a fast and easy kill. Lamb pops the ultimate. He's gonna go down anyways. MB gets the kill, blinks his way out of there. What a magician. They also have a hook shot available. Does DK know what's coming their way? Something wicked this way comes. Hook shot though, oh. it's gonna miss. And now the fight breaks down. out. Uh oh, four up away. Nicely played by Arteezy. DK so far not picking up any kills. Venom answer all comes out. Big solo subject. Now your crystal made an ult. Full duration. Not being cancelled. Mushi's low. Mushi's dead. And Sing Sing is gonna join the fight. The Aegis Eternal Envy managed to jack it in the midst of the chaos. But he does twice, get though. popped. He's gonna die again. Three heroes dead. Track kill after track kill for DK. They get a fourth here. Only the CM left standing. Envy actually managed to sneak into Roshan, finish it off. Grabbed the Aegis, but he just straight up died twice. DK, even without get, getting the Roshan and Aegis on their side, they win a big team fight, and that was well worth it for them. But Ice 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 top lane could be in trouble here. There's a dust on Eternal Envy. This seems backwards to me. Clink's getting gank ganky, the bounty hunter, and uh, Ice 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 <laughs> is just dead. But Envy is just being an absolute menace here. He's going to find Lamb. Lamb is going to go down, I think. Envy he needs to go, though. Oh, oh no. Blink out. That's where the blink is great. If you're ever in a bad spot, you just run away. Yeah. If you're too squishy, you just you can't leave the base, you can't roam or farm on your own, and you lose the War of Attrition, and further hurting that cause is going to be Pylai Dai's latest pickup. He goes for a Midas now, so give Speed Gaming three Midases to the one of DK. The gold keeps on pouring in, but Eternal Envy continues to be the thorn in DK's side. He goes now, stealing the Dark Troll Warlord, blinking onto Burning, and now gets tracked, but he's he got to be, be aggressive. He, he knows they can't kill him because he's got BKB. He's got a Hex now on OD. This is a very fast Hex. 24 minute Hex four step treads Midas. RTZ is equally farmed to Eternal Envy. Yeah. Space created. I'm scared. They've probably seen the OD Hex by now, and they know Envy has this BKB. I don't know if Pine they have. In they go. Up. Here's your ultimate. OD's going to blow up one. Burning's dead before he can even pop his BKB. He'll buy back immediately. And Envy says, let's get the hell out, guys. Another stun dodge coming out from RTZ. Envy with his BKB wearing off. It looks like Speed Gaming have to retreat. They heal on up, and they're ready to re engage.
Well, Burning's giving chase. He does a BKB here still. Can they actually lock anybody down? He pops the BKB. He pops the cooldown. It's going to hit on three. This is a disaster for speed gaming. Everyone's melting. Two have fallen. Three will fall. Can they get Arteezy as well? DK turn it around. They keep themselves in this deciding game. They want Arteezy. No juking. No running from Burning. Four heroes dead. DK feel confident with the Aegis on their side, with the now Eagle Song on burning as well, even up against an OD Hex. They want to push, they want to take the fight to Speed Gaming. One of the issues here for Speed is that Eternal Envy's already started to build towards Daedalus, so he's not going to be able to go MKB first, and Butterfly Rush becomes a lot more scary. There is a Hex on the OD, but that's it to remove the evasion. The Tower game chip away. It looks like DK don't want to fully commit to this one. They do put the mech already, so... Now we're gonna go down the oh, You don't want you really gotta consider twice about fighting now. Then they go, burning comes in. No call down to play just yet. He's holding a reserve. The OGO comes with the backside. It's Arteezy cleaning up. He breaks down two. He might bring down everybody by himself. Three heroes dead. Burning on the run. He's gonna die here once, and if he dies once, it's probably twice, maybe not. Familiars pursue out Arteezy. Gem hits the deck. AUI snags it. Now burning with no BKB. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. It's a team wipe! Wow, Crystal Maiden just staying alive. Eternal MB, the hero of that fight. That fight broke out. It kind of broke out right where the tower was. He blinked behind everyone. He took out the Venomanta. He took out the Visage. He focused on these squishy supports. And I and didn't even think DK, DK didn't even realize where MB was during that fight. He just blinked behind them and caught them by surprise. That blink dagger just creating absolute chaos in that fight. Yeah, it was him and Arteezy who also came from the backside. Shows up with the Hex. They instantly just murder the supports. And then burning. Once the BKB is down and he's left alone, he is easy picking. They just seem to do best when they can spread the fights out and get chaotic. Yeah, DK, you do not get orderly fights when your Klinks has a blink tag. When OD is using his four staff as well as Chen with a four staff just to, to spread out these heroes. Moves. Again, the BKBs. How much is the Axe really going to do for him? Uh oh, the high ground BKB. He wants to go to MMY. The Ghost Scepter immediately gets used. MP taking a lot of damage here. He's still got BKB. He's safe. He's going to go on burning now. Falls back though. The Gale's actually slowed him down. And MP. He's overextended. Oh, oh, here comes Arteezy. He's got to turn this one around. They lost clicks. They lost another support. They get nothing. They just bought back on the Alchemist, though, DK did. So a bit of a loss there. Stuns. Poison sink slow as well. There's Chill. your full staff grave chill. Uh-oh, Arteezy, the A-God, going to be brought down. DK are doing it. Triple kill. They turn another fight around. This is very costly for Speed Gaming. They managed to accrue a very sizable lead, but fights like that not going to be something that they're gonna to be too happy about. MB just blinking in way too aggressive. They'd Everybody hanging back, just waiting for the right moment to strike. Not and going in yet. Up as well. Four staff, there's your scythe. Initiation on burning. Odeo gets dropped. They need to bring burning down. He gets four staff to freedom, but now Mushi, he'll fall. He did get off his ult before going down. The call down comes. It's gonna connect to Arteezy. The burning dies though. He gets picked off. It was eternal envy from the backside with the Daedalus. Brady down burning, turning the fight again. They double buyback. Gyro as well as Bounty Hunter immediately into the fight. EE's gonna fall. They are getting trackled here. Can he blink out? Can he blink out? Can he blink out? He can blink out. He's gonna live. Maybe oh, not. And then why force up to chase him up? He needs damage from his soul or something. He doesn't have it yet. They're not actually giving him ticks on the soul or something. He gets the kill. He so goes down, but he brings MMY with him. But they do get the Roche and they do get some trackle to help Lamb. compensate. Now Force AUI. Up to the high ground. Force. Fancy footwork from AUI and Lamb ends up stunning himself here. Great maneuvering coming out of, uh, out of speed gaming. Gold experience holding stable. I say it's still okay for DK because they yeah. get the Aegis and the Cheese onto burning. Even though he had to buy back, Eternal Envy just sitting on it, waiting for a good opportunity to use it. DK have not spotted it out. We saw that late game double damage rune earlier in this yeah. tournament. Envy getting going for the late game bottle play, so. Well, I don't think we'll see the bottle just yet, but he is just waiting to use it. He waits, he grabs something. We'll kind of, he'll, he'll meet up with this group wave as it's about to reach the DK base. Are they actually going to look to engage and take a team fight? I think they will with this double damage rune. Well, they definitely know Roche. The Aegis is gone. It's not a bad time to go. Burning does have buyback. He's the most important hero. They're going now, though, with the four death scythe initiation, but One he gets four staff back. He's still alive. The ODO gets dropped. He will fall. He might be forced to buy back here, guys, and that would be a huge blow to DK. Just the one full staff over on the DK it's, side. It, it was the DD rune. It did make the difference there. Without that, I don't think they get that kill. DK. It Moments like that make you think, hey, one full stuff is not enough. They need a second one, and now they're going to try and force out the buyback from Burning. Burning He's going to 80 have to seconds. He, he doesn't really have a choice. 80 seconds, if they wait that long, I think this will be dead. Yeah, they're trying to stall as long as possible. Maybe just cut down a bit on the respawn time. Grave Chill comes out. 
Oh, I think it's going to take a lot of damage. Bleak stun initiation from Lamb. Be careful about diving, though, because Speed Gaming do hit quite hard. They actually drive them back. The pipe gets popped by AUI 2000. Are they going to continue chasing? They did buy back on Burning, so now they really want to force the fight. Eternal Envy's on the run, a four-step, a Grave Chill. He has a BKB, hasn't been able to use it. There's your four-step to freedom. Three four-steps just got used in a row, I believe. Now EE still waiting to fight, still waiting for his moment to engage. Remember, Burning bought back. If he dies again, that could be it. But they get a kill. I believe that was a track yeah. kill. And the send back onto the Clinks gets him to safety. That's a, like, Jaro goes down, buys back, and all they end up getting after the fight is a Chen. DK have to use anyways. That was all about not losing Raxes, but... MVP, four step. Yeah, this is where Speed Gaming have multiple four steps. Four. Here. They have four. You go on this Clinks, he gets kept alive. You go on Burning, only one four staff to push him away. Four staff is just such an amazing late game item. In comes the rocket. It will be destroyed quickly. It's getting close to killing this Roche. Down to half HP, four step sight. Here we go, but now they've got the double four step. Odeol's been wasted. Win. Now the familiar stuns. Double familiar stun. This could be trouble if they fight Bernie right now. He could clean them all up. Going to work, but he's actually not getting a kill. It's Eternal Envy who strikes first. Brains down one. Now Bernie. He's got to pop his cheese. He did it a bit early. He chokes a bit in the fight. Now he falls. He's dead for 100 seconds. And Speed Gaming should get Roche. This could be game. Absolute disaster for DK there. We talked about Arteezy having a short BKB while burning. His is down to four seconds. He just couldn't fight there. And that's What? Lamb, he snipes the Aegis! What a play from Lamb. He's probably going to pay for this with his life, but hey, anything he can do to keep his team in this game. He goes down once. He'll go down twice. And this is wasting their time when they want to be pushing yeah. it. Fine. Oh. oh! The creeps come marching in. The creeps go down. Oh, multiple tracks being deployed here by Ice Ice Ice, but Envy's just waiting for the moment to blink in, pop his BKB, and find the easiest target. Right, four staff sight on the burning, they need to burst him, but he gets four staffed away. Now the BKB from Envy's down, so he goes back on the racks. First lane of racks, down for Envy. A Tarteezy drops his ult, he brings everyone low. Nobody's dead yet, though. Burning on the way out. Now they grave kill him. He's got a BKB, he held it in reserve. Great patience from the young gun and they'll take a lane of racks. They'll get out safely, make it two, because Envy's going for the juggler. He's cutting DK off at the knees. He blinks out. He's dodging. Four step. They do stun Arteezy, but there's no follow-up. Lamb just can't make the openings happen. Oh, here comes Boosh from the side. He's looking for an ulti. How many of these heroes can he actually catch? Manta, ulti, poison over there. The cold are going to catch up multiple heroes. No BKB for Odie. Full self gaming. Odie going half. Burning going to go down. And with that, DK may be out of this game. This might be the end of their run at MOG. They're almost out of options. They're down Rex. In the base is Eternal Envy. In the base is Eternal Envy. Forget about that. He's going bottom. He's working on the tier three. Glyph gets forced out. More buybacks. But he TPs away. What a magician. DK just getting manhandled. Top Rex is down. Mid Rex is down. Multiple buybacks get forced out. And your options now are one. Divine Rapier Gyro as soon as possible. MB goes over the high ground. He's just going to go straight for the tower, straight for the Rex. He's got BKB. He can just focus the Rex. It's MB going to get the melee barracks at bottom lane. Speed Gaming going for the Mega Creeps now as well. MB goes down, insta buyback. Uh-oh. Arteezy needs to run now. You, they can't afford to lose too many. They BKB. They try to TP out. Pylite die. Me might be the lone casualty along with MB, but MB came and he saw and he conquered. He got the lane of Rex. They're very happy with this trade. AUI. Hope he a track kill here. Maybe it gets them towards... No, sorry, he did have to buy back. So. Not even a track kill. Yeah, not even a track kill. They get nothing. Everything DK are... DK they're pretty screwed now. That's suicide from Envy. Well worth it. This stage of the game, just getting that melee Rex gets you one step closer to Mega Creeps. It's the GG rune. It's the DD rune. It's gone it's once just, again to Eternal Envy. Is that Cliff? There's, there's no Cliff. You just BKB and get this Rex. Surely, double force up. He's being sent home as well. The send back. Oh, not enough. A little bit too early. Too early. <laughs> that was... Double four stuff with a send back to try and back all the rack. Like, let each other know, like, hey, this is something we want to be trying to do. Really? Point dagger on the chat? Got to okay. get, get in range for those send backs. So he can sit even farther back than blink in the send of home. Okay. I guess. I can get behind that. Here we go. This could be the final fight. In comes Envy once Mega again. Creep. He catches the Mega Creep. That might be it. He might go down here. BK means he tries to fight his way out. He's sent home. They can't get anything, DK. They can't kill a single hero between sendbacks, between heals, between... They're out of options. Stars. Speed Gaming have found a foolproof way to win this game. Oh, how appropriate that many call the V-God. He's it's picked on. up something divine here. It is the rapier. Yeah. 
happening. I think they're going for like a triple four step conga line into the pit. Get ready One for it. They're Bernie coming now. Die. They pop the Shivas. They four step in. They drop the ult. Bernie's going to drop. Rapier hits the deck. Nobody picks it up. They don't even need the Rapier. They say we'll kill you anyway. Now Sing Sing snagged it. He's gotten the big bad sword for himself. GG Speed Gaming are your champions here at MLG Columbus. like the fucking tea game, like, oh, I don't know, oh, it's, I don't know that story, it's just, it's amazing. So is there anything else you would like to say to your fans? Thank you for believing in me again. Um, it's been a long time since I've done anything in Dota, so thank you for your opportunity. EE, you, like, I, I felt like I could feel a little bit of emotion coming off of you when you were giving that finals interview. That yeah, seemed I, like I, I a really powerful again, moment. Is that, was that, like, totally legit? Were you getting a little... I actually watched my interview and I was like, what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> no, there is okay. no way. There is no way. I actually said what I wanted to say. Like, it didn't make any sense. Uh, you want to try I again? Can... Yeah, I think I'll try again here. Awesome. I was, um... I've had fans for a very, very long time. Maybe it's because they like my anime or stuff or my chart stuff or whatever. But even before NTX, people really, some people followed me from the beginning to the end and they helped me with a lot of stuff. And um, like after I won DreamHack, like it, was, it just went downhill from there. But a lot of people, like the people that I've seen throughout the entire time, still uh, supported me all the way to the end. So um, they, they never stopped uh, believing in me. I'm really thankful to everyone who supported me all the way to MLG and I'm glad that uh, I was very very relieved more than more than even happy that I was able to give them something back uh, give them like that victory that they knew I could get 